Today we're going to show you part number ETBC7 and what this kit does is actually fills in the blanks between your four pole connector and your brake controller. Basically on the instructions of your brake controller, it will show you a link between the foot brake and a stoplight switch, a battery, a lead to the battery, and then a line going out to the connector out back. And this kit here fills in those missing pieces. It will cover each individual part. First we'll start from the rear of the vehicle and work our way forward. This part here is seven and four pole to four pole adapter. And what this will do is this will plug into your existing four pole that you have on your vehicle, provided it has been installed or came from the factory that way. It just plugs in like so into your four pole and then this gets grounded to the body of a vehicle and you have a couple extra wires. Black wire gets ran to the battery. Blue wire here actually gets ran to the blue wire on your brake controller. And finally we have this purple wire here which actually technically gets ran to reverse lights. If you don't need this wire or a black wire, you don't have to install it. But for brakes, you definitely have to have the blue wire installed. And then this, on the seven of the four pole adapter, it also comes with this bracket right here that gets mounted to the bottom of your bumper or wherever you're gonna mount it underneath the vehicle. It comes with two sets of screws. These small screws, which will attach it to the bumper or support bracket, whatever you use. And then these four screws here will actually go through and hold the connector in place to the bracketry. Gray cable here has two conductors in it. One's gonna be white and one's gonna be black. What happens here is that this wire gets split back and it gets connected to the two wires on the four pole two, seven and four pole adapter. What happens basically is you're gonna take your blue and black wire and then your black wire will get ran to black. You wanna keep as much as the same as possible. And then the white wire is gonna get ran to the blue wire. Your connections. This loom is to cover up this will cover the wiring from the adapter here to the beginning of the cable up front. Basically, the next step is run this cable back up to your battery. This will provide power for the black wire for a 12 volt power supply going out back. The reason why you want to go to the battery first is because you're always going to have some left over, approximately five to six foot, and then you're going to have the excess. And that excess wire, you're going to cut off and you're going to run that between your brake controller and the battery. Essentially, you're going to have one wire going to the battery, the black wire, and then you're going to cut off the excess and again, you're gonna have another connection of a black wire going to the battery, except the other black wire will be going directly to the brake controller. So you have two connections coming off your battery. After you've ran to your battery for the hot lead, you're coming back the line between the brake controller and the battery itself. That black wire has to go through a circuit breaker. Depending on your brake controller, it's gonna be either a 20 amp or 30 amp. That's why we supply three, because different brake controllers have different requirements. So you're gonna, here's a 20 amp, this will be a 30 amp. And then also here we have a 40 amp. This 40 amp, you also want to install between the battery and the 12 volt power supply going out back. So it's a pretty good idea to install these side by side, and you'll always have one of these left over. And to make all these connections to the circuit breaker and wiring to the battery, it does come with all the ring terminals to make the connections with. These two will be going for your battery, and then these four here will be making the connections to your circuit breakers. And it comes with the buck connectors to make the connections between the brake controller and the wiring. It finally comes with 10 zip ties to help secure all the wiring to the frame components or any other stationary objects. The main thing when you want to run the wires, make sure you keep away from anything moving, such as suspension components, when you're coming across the back axle, and of course the front axle, and then when you go up to, through the firewall, you want to stay away from any of the steering components as well. And there you have it for our overview of part number ET BC7.